So this video is part of my ongoing sponsorship with In Beauty Project, and as I was thinking about how I wanted to incorporate talking about their new um, multifunctional cleanser, I realized there's actually quite a few multifunctional products in my collection and also a lot of multifunctional techniques that I use that I just don't really talk about on camera. So if you're on a budget or you just don't wanna be buying that many products or maybe you wanna pack less when you travel, this video is for you. Obviously, I have to start with the In Beauty Keep It Clean Hydrating Gel Cleanser. You know, sometimes for me, cleansers are whatever. I'm like, yeah, it's good. I guess it cleaned my face. Didn't feel like it stripped my face, so works for me. But I've never met a cleanser that can be a first cleanse and a second cleanse, meaning acts as your cleansing balm, cleansing oil, and as your cleanser on wet skin. It has ceramides, which help strengthen your skin barrier. I talk about it all the time, but ceramides are like my skin's favorite thing ever. It also has 10 amino acids that help with resilience and hydration and vegan collagen for extra hydration benefits. But the most important thing for me is that this reduces the amount of products that I have to own. Now, obviously as a YouTuber, it's a little different. I'm gonna be constantly testing out new things that I buy, that companies send me in PR. But if I weren't a YouTuber, this would be my go-to. It would be the only cleanser that I need to have in my shower. Works fantastically on dry skin to remove makeup. As you'll see in the clip, I just did two pumps in my hand on dry skin, massaged it all over my face, and you can instantly see that even without water, it's starting to emulsify and break down all of my makeup and sunscreen. And then I ran to the sink, got my hands wet, so I could show you what it looks like when it does start to emulsify with warm water. Everything rinsed off super clean, no eye stinging, no film. And then I went back to the sink, used it as a second cleanse to just make sure that I was getting everything properly, and it was perfect. I honestly just never could have imagined that a gel cleanser can function as a first cleanse, so, I'm thrilled. This is by far now my favorite skincare product that InBeauty's ever created. It's 6.7 ounces and you can get it on Sephora for just $25. But if you wanna save money, you can use my code Kate15 on InBeauty's website for 15% off. I only have three more skincare products and then I'm gonna move on to the makeup. This product I've never talked about on my channel even though I've been using it for several years because it's very expensive and it's not super accessible, but you know what? It is the ultimate multifunctional serum for me and it's the Skin Better Alto Defense Serum. I'm not even gonna try to remember everything that this does off the top of my head, so I'm gonna read from my phone. Alto Defense combines vitamins C and E and 17 additional antioxidants, basically to provide super comprehensive protection from free radicals. It has polyphenol-rich superfood extracts of acai, turmeric, cocoa, green tea, chlorogenic acids, grapeseed, and Mediterranean olive. Let me just tell you right now, there are ingredients in this that I can't pronounce and I don't know what they do but I'm just gonna read them to you in case you know what they do. So it has a blend of coffee, saffron, superoxide dismutase, and ergothionine, which enhances vitality and radiance. It has an anti-pollution complex, which counteracts the appearance of wrinkles and uneven skin tone. It has a skin soothing blend that reduces the look of redness. It has licorice extract that helps to brighten the skin. And it has a peptide called, I believe pronounced trifluoroacetyl tripeptide 2, which helps to improve firmness and resiliency. This has so many antioxidants. It's pumped with skin soothers. It has peptides that help soften the appearance of fine lines and wrinkles. It has ingredients that hydrate the skin, ingredients that help strengthen your skin's barrier. So for me, I'm willing to pay this price tag, which is $225 for this 1.7 ounce bottle or $160 for their one ounce bottle. I know it's crazy. Like I know that it's a lot. That's why I've never talked about it on my channel, but I use this every single day every single day without fail. And I'm very sensitive to vitamin C, but this doesn't irritate my skin unless my skin is already sensitized and then I'll just skip it. It has the most wonderful texture. It just really cuts down on the amount of products I need to use in my morning routine. It just has this super thin texture that sets down to just a feeling of like soft velvet on the skin. It's so weightless. And the reason I'm willing to pay that high price tag is because I don't have to use any other serums in the morning. I have extraordinarily sensitive skin. The more products I layer in a routine, the more my skin gets sensitized. So the fact that this does everything in one, I'm good to go. I pop on a moisturizer, my sunscreen, that's it every single day. I think you have to buy it on the Skin Better website directly or you buy it through an esthetician, but I'm pretty sure you just create an account on their website and then you're good to go. She pricey, but she good. In terms of multifunctional products in my nighttime routine, these are my two absolute favorites. I have the Peach and Lily Glass Skin Serum and the Dew Deliverance Serum. I love the Peach and Lily Glass Skin Serum. I've been using it for years. Nothing beats this texture as a hydrating serum for me. It's $39 and you can get it on Ulta and the website says it's a revolutionary cocktail of peach extract, niacinamide, East Asian mountain yam, madocasticide, peptides, and hyaluronic acid to help visibly hydrate, calm, 
brighten and firm the skin. That to me is multifunctional. You know, in a world where you get products from say The Ordinary or The Inky List that really focus on one ingredient, that kind of product doesn't work for me because then I'm layering a ton of different products, different ingredients start interacting negatively with other products I'm layering. I really just prefer to have a bunch of good shit in one product so that I don't have to layer as much, I don't have to buy as much, and it reduces sensitivity. It is so thin and so almost silky as a hydrating serum. A lot of other hydrating serums can be very, very tacky. They can feel very heavy on the skin. And all of these skincare products are fragrance-free and essential oil-free, except the In Beauty Cleanser has a very subtle, almost like cucumbery scent. I love it, it's a really nice scent. But everything else is fragrance-free. I love that this does so much in one. It's hydrating, it's soothing, it helps soften the appearance of fine lines and wrinkles. It helps brighten the skin. I mean, it's just perfect. Lastly, I'm on my fifth bottle of the Dew Skin Deliverance Serum, all of which I have purchased myself, and I just love it. It's fantastic. Similar concept as the Peach and Lily Glass Skin Serum. It hydrates, it brightens, it soothes, and it softens the appearance of fine lines and wrinkles. And I actually like using these together at night because they have the same functions, but with different ingredients. So I feel like I'm getting a real powerhouse. The Deliverance Serum has 1% encapsulated hemp complex, which is basically their proprietary hemp complex that they did a bunch of clinical studies on. And it really showed that it was super effective at calming and soothing the skin when it's irritated. They also have a 3% water lily complex, which also helps to soothe skin and irritation. They also have two different peptides that have some crazy names I can't even pronounce. One of them has been clinically studied to to boost the skin's firmness and minimize the look of fine lines and wrinkles. The other peptide has a blend of passion flower, white tea, and peptides that were clinically shown to help reduce the appearance of wrinkle depth, fine lines, and wrinkle from expression lines. So if you didn't know, certain peptides have different functions. And then they have 4% niacinamide, which obviously can help even your tone, and it can also support your skin's barrier. The Dew Skin Deliverance Serum almost has this kind of velvety, milky texture that really sinks into the skin. All three of these skincare products are incredible. They never affect my makeup. They never work badly with any other skincare products. And these are the only serums I use. When it comes to skincare, I'm very low maintenance, so I want products that serve a bunch of functions and go the extra mile. I'm sure several of you guessed that I was gonna talk about this, but it's the In Beauty Face Glaze. I talk about this multifunctional product so often on my channel for a reason. It's just so beautiful. I've gone through so many tubes of this and I just feel like not enough people are talking about it. What this is essentially to me is a thin but very nourishing cream that has squalane, ceramides, watermelon extract, kakadu plum to hydrate the skin and support your skin barrier. But then it's mixed with like a soft focus glow pigment. So everyone always asks me, is this the same thing as a Charlotte Tilbury Hollywood Flawless Filter? Not at all. That to me is more of a makeup product. Really glowy primer, works great as a highlighter. And the Flawless Filter doesn't add any like skincare benefits, doesn't make my skin feel nourished and hydrated and moisturized and all that good stuff, but this does. And that's why this is so perfectly multifunctional. I will use this mixed in with my moisturizer. If I just want my skin to look a little bit healthier and I wanna look a little bit more put together on a day where I'm not gonna be wearing makeup and it looks absolutely beautiful like that because it does have almost a little bit of a blurring effect because of that soft focus pigment. I also will use this on top of sunscreen like a glowy primer, if I feel like maybe my sunscreen mattified my skin a little bit too much, or my skin's looking kind of dull, then I'll pop this just in the areas that I need it. Otherwise, I don't wanna look too shiny. Of course, you can use this as a highlighter as well. I'll put it on my cheekbones and then kind of tap it up to my forehead. But one of the best ways that I think you can use this is honestly on your shoulders and your collarbones because a lot of other glowy products look really sparkly on the body and I hate that. I don't like when you can feel that it's like kind of tacky or it feels like it's maybe coming off on your clothes. I hate that feeling. I feel like my skin just looks so radiant without looking like I'm actually wearing anything. So you can see me comparing my shoulders and there is a nice difference. It's subtle, but that's why I like it. So you're not gonna be getting like a blinding highlight from this. It's just a beautiful nourishing moisturizer mixed with a subtle soft glow pigment. Yeah, I'm almost out of like, I don't know, my third or fourth bottle. So I have one product in this video that I had never thought of using in a multifunctional way until I saw Ingrid Nilsson talk about it. And you guys know, I love my Charlotte Tilbury Eyes to Mesmerize and Oyster Pearl. I saw Ingrid use this as a bronzer all over her face. And I was like, 
what? Because in my mind, it's bronzy, but it's also a little bit of that antiqued gold. So it has kind of this like burnished olive quality to it as well. So I just thought on my somewhat cool tone skin, it would never work. But I tried it for this video because I thought maybe you guys would be interested in seeing how it worked and it, it worked. <laughs> this has a really soft kind of satin metallic finish. It's not glittery or shimmery, so you can use this as a bronzer and it still just looks like skin. You just have to know going into it that it's like a luminous looking bronzer. But I was shocked that when you sheer it out over the face, it adds a little bit of warmth, but it also adds almost a little bit of a contour effect too because of that somewhat kind of burnished quality to it. I never in a million years would have thought to use this as a bronzer, but I'm so glad that Ingrid tried it because now it kind of made me step outside the box and think about, okay, what other products do I have in my collection that might work as something else that I've just never thought about because I'm conditioned to think about them as this one thing. Now, obviously this one is shade specific, but you can just use the same mentality and the same technique and apply it to something that might work better on your skin tone. So thank you, Ingrid, for that tip. A multifunctional product that you know I talk about all the time is using a concealer as your foundation. The best way you can get this to work, in my opinion, is to pick a concealer that has a really good amount of coverage for your under eyes, but has a very thin, stretchable finish so that you can really sheer it out all over the face. So you're not left with like a full coverage foundation all over the face and under the eyes in one color. That would look a little flat, right? So instead, take something like the NYX uh, Bear With Me Serum Concealer. I have the shade Vanilla. And if you use a brush that's like really sparse and kind of fluffy, meaning it's not like dense and really stiff, that will really sheer out the coverage so that then you look like you're wearing more of like a medium coverage or even sometimes a light coverage product. If you just use like one pump and put it all over your face, blend it out with a sheer brush, it's gonna look like you're wearing a tinted moisturizer. And so for me, like I do not like to own a lot of foundations, a lot of tinted moisturizers. They take up a lot of space in my collection and ultimately they pretty much end up doing the same thing. I much prefer having one product that serves both functions. And then when you wanna use it under the eyes, just tap it under your eyes and really try not to blend it out so that the coverage stays in place. That way you look like you're wearing a foundation and a concealer, but it's just one product. The next technique is certainly not gonna be new to anyone, but I wanted to talk about specific products that I actually use it for, and that would be using a lip product as your blush. So my problem is my face eats blush, eats it right up. I put on cream blush, an hour later it's gone from my face, Every cream blush formula doesn't matter what it is. Typically, that's why I reach for powder blushes on a daily basis, because I don't want to have to go and reapply my blush. But I just love playing with cream blush because it's just so much more fun to apply. But I hate that my face eats cream blush. And so when I'm on the go, you know, I carry really small purses because I have back problems. I just don't have the space to fit in a cream blush and a little brush with it. So instead, I will use a lip color and I'll bring that with me. I'll use it on my lips and I'll do, you know, the classic technique of just kissing your lips and then putting it on your cheeks. So I'll also do it on days when I'm like running late for a work meeting. I got to get on that Zoom. I'll run downstairs, pop on a lipstick, kiss my fingers, go boop, 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 and I'm good to go. And specifically, I wanted to show you these two formulas. So my first favorite for this technique is the Beauty Pie Shine Up Lip Color Balm in the shade Sexy Berry. I like this one because it has a balmy finish, so it adds a little bit of a sheen to your skin, so you can skip highlighter. It just looks like you have kind of juicy skincare applied, which can be really nice. This shade also is just so stunning on the cheeks. You've got a little bit of that berry, but it's also a little bit brown and a little bit rose. It's basically my perfect blush color. If I could find this exact color, in a powder, I would be so, so, so thrilled because it kind of combines all the shades that I like. The other lip product I love using as a blush is the Rose Ink Lipstick in Enigmatic. I believe they describe this as like a rose terracotta. Again, such a perfect blush shade. And this one's more of a satin finish, so you're not gonna get that kind of balmy texture like the Beauty Pie one had. This is gonna just look like a satin blush. It blends like a dream, and it honestly looks like it was made to be a blush. Obviously, you don't need these two specific products. Just look in your collection, see what lip color might work as a blush, what texture might work. You know, I would go for something that isn't like 
super, super oily or super, super matte. Something in the middle is what I find works best for me. Something else you can try doing is using your blush as eyeshadow. I would certainly suggest using a powder because it's just gonna last a lot longer than a cream. You know, I have slightly hooded lids and as I age, the skin on my upper eyelid is starting to droop down. So it's making my eyelids even more hooded. So for me, like a super emollient cream blush just is not gonna work on my eyes. But these are the two blushes that I actually do use on a regular basis on my eyes and I love the way that they look. The first is the M Cosmetics Heaven's Glow Radiant Veil Blush in Venetian Rose. I love that the finish of this blush adds a soft sheen to the eyelids without looking like glittery or metallic. And even that soft pink color on the eyes, I actually find to be really flattering. And so when you pair it on the cheeks, you get a beautiful monochromatic look and the formula is just so easy to blend. It's sheer, but it's very buildable. My favorite to use on the eyes, however, is the Bare Minerals Kiss of Rose Blonzer. It has the softest, most velvety texture. It's super, super pigmented. So you can see in the application clip, first when you apply it sort of sheerly, it looks like a really nice wash of like a rosy copper, but you can totally swipe it on with your finger for a really nice impactful, quite metallic look that I love. But obviously you can take any blush in your collection that you think you might wanna use on the eyes, give it a go, see how it turns out. Another technique I'm sure you're all very well aware of is using your bronzer as eyeshadow. This is just my go-to when I'm not gonna be on camera. Like if I just have a Zoom meeting for work, I have a client meeting and I need to look put together, but I don't wanna look like I'm overdone and wearing a lot of makeup, I just use my bronzer all over my lid, all the way in my crease, and then underneath my eye as a one and done shadow. And I find that the warmth of the bronzer really pops my eye color. And because a bronzer is a few shades darker than my skin, it also adds really nice dimension. Certainly not an innovative concept here, but one that is worthy of being discussed. The last multifunctional technique I have obviously is using your blush on your lips as lip color. However, I find that it's really hard to find a cream blush that looks good on the lips. Either the texture feels really thin and not nourishing, or the color ends up looking like way too light and milky on the lips. But for me, one that I use on a regular basis on the cheeks and the lips at the same time is the Wander Beauty On The Glow Blush and Illuminator in Strawberry Fields. Oh my God, this color is absolutely insane. It's like a juicy, juicy pinky berry that has a little bit of a shine to it because it's an emollient formula but it's not thin and slippery where it's gonna slide all around your mouth. It's so easy to apply as a lip color because it is in a stick format. And what's great about it is it also has a highlighter on the end called Nude Glow. It's a super weightless formula, blends like a dream. You can't see any glitter or shimmer particles. And it's sheer enough that I think it would work on all complexions. So you could use the highlighter on top of your cheeks as a highlighter. You could use the highlighter then on your eyes to add a little bit of a sheen. Truly something that serves as a multifunctional product. So those are all my multifunctional products and techniques. I would love to know what you use on a regular basis, what helps save you money, what helps you pack less. I feel like there could be some really interesting video concepts like trying all my blushes as eyeshadows or like trying my eyeshadows as bronzers or things like that, you know? I, I kind of am not very much of an outside the box thinker. I've always been like very much in the square. So this kind of concept really helps me to like change my relationship with products and how I use them. If you like this video, I hope you'll subscribe for more content like this and wherever you are, I hope you're doing well and I'll see you in the next one.